Hello there, welcome to the October 2020 paper. Here we're looking at question five. A car has six forward gears. The fastest speed of the car in the first gear is 28 kilometers per hour, and in the sixth gear is 115 kilometers per hour. Given that the fastest speed of the car in successive gears is modeled by an arithmetic sequence, find the fastest speed of the car in the third gear. So for this equation here, in the first bit of information, I've got A equals 28, and in the second bit of information, I've got A plus 5D equals 115. So now that I know that A is 28, it's going to be 28 plus 5D equals 115, because remember, it's always one less on the difference than the term you're currently at. So therefore, 5D is going to equal 115 minus 28, which is 87, and then divide by 5, which is well, 87 over 5, or 17.4. So in each gear, when you go up a gear, your maximum speed is going to increase by 17.4. So if we want to work out the third gear, we're going to have to do A plus 2D, so therefore that's going to equal 28 plus 2 lots of 17.4, which equals to 28 plus 2 times answer <coughs> is 62.8, 62.8 kilometers per hour. So we are in arithmetic sequence of part A. Let's move on to part B. Given that the fastest speed of the car in successive gears is modelled by a geometric sequence, find the fastest speed of the car in the fifth gear. OK, so going back and interpreting this information in a geometric sequence now, it's still going to be A equals 28, but now it's going to be A R to the power of 5 equals 115. So now substituting in A equals 28, and we'll work out what r is equal to. So 115 divided by 28 is 4.107. So r to the power of 5 is 1 point, so 4.107, dot, dot, dot. And now let's work out what the fifth root of this is. So you've got to select the right mode in your calculator. Fifth root of that answer, which is 1.3265, dot, dot, dot. So now, let's now work out the fastest speed in the fifth gear. That's going to be a r to the power of 4, so 28 times 1.3265 to the power of 4 equals, let's do it, 28 times answer to the power of 4 equals 86.7 kilometers per hour. And there we are, that's the answer for this question here. That's uh, question 5, worth 6 marks in total. Let's now move on to question six.